Bishop okay. Curry, since the election of President-elect Donald Trump, there is palpable fear among the immigrant families who live without papers in the U.S. There's also frustration and even anger among some of us who have supported immigration reform for years and now see our dreams shattered. If you could talk directly to the families of the church, many of whom are Latino mm -hmm. and happen to be undocumented, and their supporters, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what would you tell them? Well, one, I do understand the concern, the anxiety, and the fear, um, partially in what we don't know, um, and partially um, concern about what has been said and some of the words that have been spoken. I understand that fear, that anxiety, and that concern. I can tell you this. Stay together in Christian community, in your church. Stay together as part of the Episcopal Church with your parish priest and your bishops. We're all committed to do everything we can to help, even though we don't all know what the solutions are. This church is unswerving in its commitment to comprehensive immigration reform so that this country has the kind of immigration reform that really does make room for all. We have not changed on that, and we are still committed to that. And I know that your local bishops and your local priests will do everything that they can to support families and loved ones and to care for them. But stay with your church community. Don't give up. Even when it gets difficult, don't give up because we are people who followed, we follow a Lord who didn't give up. He carried the cross all the way and he didn't stop. And we follow that Jesus. So know that you are being prayed for. Know that your local priests, congregation, and local bishops are all trying to support in any way they can. Know that there are people of goodwill in our communities who come together in coalitions to help and to support and to work on matters of public policy. Know that and stand together and keep going forward. There's an old song that used to be sung by those who were slaves in our country. And it went like this. Walk together, children, and don't you get weary because there's a great camp meeting in the promised land walk and don't give up. God bless you. God keep you. And may God hold you and us all in the hollow of those almighty hands of love.